Today we're diving into the fascinating world of gerbils. These small, energetic creatures are often overlooked as pets, but they have so much to offer. So are gerbils good pets? We'll delve into that, exploring their behavior, needs, and why they might just be the perfect addition to your family. Are gerbils good pets? Gerbils make engaging and sociable pets, bringing a unique charm to your home. These small creatures are often described as gentle and friendly, making them fantastic companions for both children and adults. They are known for their curiosity, full of energy, and always ready to explore their environment, turning your observation into an entertaining pastime. Gerbils' low-maintenance care needs are another appealing trait. They are clean animals with minimal odor, which makes them a practical choice for many households. Unlike some pets, they don't require hours of your attention daily, leaving you to enjoy their antics without the pressure of intense care. In terms of handling, gerbils are typically very accepting. They enjoy being held and petted, and they rarely bite, unlike some other pet rodents. But beware, they're quick movers, so keep a keen eye on them to avoid any surprise leaps or escapes. What do gerbils eat? Gerbils are omnivores, meaning they can eat both plant and animal-based foods. Their main diet consists of a seed mix or pellet specifically designed for gerbils, which can be found in your local pet store. Every day, the gerbils' food bowl should be filled about one-four full with this feed. Gerbils need about six gram of dry food a day, but that's not all they eat. Imagine the delight of a gerbil when twice a week, they are treated to some fresh fruit or vegetable, about a teaspoon's worth. Now you might be wondering, what kind of fruits can a gerbil eat? Well, while they can consume a variety of fruits and vegetables, it's best to avoid citrus fruits, as they can cause stomach upset. As for hydration, gerbils need access to clean water at all times. Their water should be changed daily to ensure it's fresh and clean. You should avoid giving them cow's milk or other dairy products, as they can cause diarrhea. But be careful, not all foods are good for a gerbil. Certain foods should be avoided, like chocolate, junk food, rhubarb, apple seeds, and onion, as these can be harmful to your gerbil's health. How big do gerbils get? Adult gerbils typically reach a size of about 10 to 12 centimeters in body length, not including their tail. The tail itself can add an additional 8 to 10 centimeters, making the total length of a gerbil from nose to tail tip between 18 to 22 centimeters. When gerbils are born, they are incredibly small, typically measuring just 1 to 2 centimeters in length. They are born hairless and with their eyes closed, but they grow rapidly, reaching adult size in about 3 to 4 months. In terms of gender differences, both male and female gerbils are roughly the same size, with no significant difference in length or weight. Speaking of weight, adult gerbils usually weigh between 70 to 130 grams. This is roughly equivalent to the weight of a small apple. Just like with their size, the weight of a gerbil can vary based on factors such as diet, age, and overall health. Can gerbils live alone? Gerbils are social creatures that prefer to live in pairs or small groups. They are not accustomed to living alone like some other pets. In fact, caring for a single gerbil can sometimes be more challenging than caring for a pair or small group. A solitary gerbil can experience loneliness, which can cause serious damage to their overall well-being. Therefore, it is highly recommended to have at least a pair of gerbils. When it comes to the gender of the partner, it doesn't necessarily matter as long as they get along well. However, if you're not planning on breeding your gerbils, it's advisable to keep same-sex pairs or groups to prevent unwanted litters. As for the maximum number of gerbils that can live together, it is generally recommended to keep between two and four gerbils. While wild gerbil clans may have up to 15 members in captivity, Keeping too many gerbils together can lead to unnecessary competition and conflict. The size of the habitat also plays a crucial role. The more room your gerbils have, the easier it will be for them to coexist peacefully. If the cage is too small, fights might occasionally break out. What cage do gerbils need? Gerbils require a specific type of environment to thrive. The cage you choose for your gerbils should be well ventilated, secure, and spacious enough for them to move around freely. The best gerbil cages are typically made of glass or metal, as gerbils can chew through plastic. A popular choice among gerbil owners is a tank topper, which combines a glass tank with a wire top. This design provides a safe, chew-proof environment and allows for easy observation of your pets. 
the floor of the cage should be covered with a suitable bedding material. The best gerbil bedding combines hay, aspen shavings, and paper-based bedding such as KT Clean and Cozy. This mixture of materials helps gerbils to build sturdy tunnels. It's recommended to provide your gerbil with at least 15 centimeters of substrate and to replace the bedding every three to four weeks. As for the size of the cage, it should be spacious enough to accommodate the active lifestyle of gerbils. The minimum cage size for a pair of gerbils should be 2,500 square centimeters, with a height of at least 50 centimeters. For two to four gerbils, a floor surface of at least 100 centimeters long by 50 centimeters wide and 50 centimeters tall is recommended. What are the best toys for gerbils? Gerbils are active and curious creatures that love to play, explore, and chew. Therefore, providing them with a variety of toys is essential for their mental and physical well-being. Some of the best toys for gerbils include exercise wheels, tunnels, and chew toys. A solid wheel such as a silent spinner or wodent wheel is a good choice for gerbils. It's important to get a medium-sized wheel, large enough that the gerbil's back can be held relatively straight while running. For DIY toys, gerbils love simple items like toilet paper rolls and cardboard boxes. These can be used to create mazes, tunnels, and hideouts. Another DIY toy idea is to tie unsweetened cereal and unsalted sunflower seeds inside a Kleenex, which the gerbil can then chew through to get to the treats. While toys are beneficial, it's important to ensure they are safe. Avoid toys with small parts that can be swallowed or spaces where your gerbils could get their heads stuck. Also, avoid toys made from materials that can splinter or break into sharp pieces. Also, avoid giving your gerbils toys or items that have been treated with chemicals or dyes, as these can be harmful if ingested. Similarly, avoid toys made from soft plastic, as gerbils can easily chew and swallow pieces, which can lead to blockages or other health issues. How to tame a gerbil If you want to play with your gerbil, you need to tame it first. Taming a gerbil involves a process of building trust and familiarity. It's important to remember that patience and gentle handling are key to this process. Start by letting the gerbil get used to your presence. Spend time near their cage, talking softly to them, and moving slowly to avoid startling them. Over time, this will help them recognize you as a non-threatening entity. One effective method to build trust is to offer food from your hand. This can help the gerbil associate your presence with positive experiences, such as receiving treats, However, it's crucial to let the gerbil approach you at its own pace. Forcing interaction can lead to fear and mistrust. Creating a comfortable and safe environment for your gerbil is also crucial. A well-prepared home can make your gerbil more likely to warm up to their new environment. The cage should be spacious enough for your gerbil, and it's beneficial to provide bedding around 6 inches deep to cater to their strong digging instincts. This allows them to focus their energies on creating tunnels and burrows, which can help them feel secure. What type of gerbil is the best? When it comes to keeping gerbils as pets, the most commonly found types are the Mongolian gerbil and the fat-tailed gerbil. The Mongolian gerbil, originating from China and Mongolia, is particularly popular due to its varied coat colors, which include golden, black, lilac, sapphire, slate, ivory cream, gray, nutmeg, and saffron. This variety allows pet owners to choose a gerbil with a specific coat color, adding a unique touch to their pet selection. Mongolian gerbils are known for their large black eyes and medium coat with a long, thin tail. They are native to the steppe region of Mongolia and have a size range of 6 to 12 inches, making them one of the larger gerbil types. Through selective breeding, several color variations are available, including white, black, and gold. How long do gerbils live? The lifespan of a gerbil can vary depending on its species, genetics, and the care it receives. Generally, pet gerbils live longer than their wild counterparts. The common Mongolian gerbil, often kept as a pet, typically has a lifespan between two and four years. However, some captive gerbils have been known to live between eight and 10 years, which is significantly longer. This extended lifespan in captivity is due to a consistent food supply lack of predators, reduced disease exposure, and a stable, safe climate. In contrast, wild gerbils usually live for about two to three years on average. Unfortunately, many wild gerbils don't survive past six to eight months, 
due to factors such as predation, diseases, harsh weather conditions, and lack of food and water. Things you should not do to a gerbil. When caring for a gerbil, there are several things that you should avoid doing to ensure their health and happiness. Firstly, it's important to avoid feeding your gerbil certain types of food. For instance, nuts that are salted, cooked, or flavored can be harmful to your gerbil. Their bodies are not designed to digest processed food, and they should only eat nuts in their raw form to get all their nutrients. Secondly, it's crucial to remember that gerbils are social animals. Unlike some other small pets, such as hamsters, gerbils thrive in the company of their own kind. A solitary life can be detrimental to a gerbil's health and well-being. Studies have shown that gerbils live longer and healthier lives when they live with others of their kind, while solitary gerbils tend to be unhealthy, overweight, and have shorter lifespans. Lastly, when purchasing a gerbil, it's recommended to find a reputable breeder. Pet stores can sometimes have difficulty keeping track of the gender of gerbils and their relationships to one another. This can be problematic as gerbils are both social and territorial, requiring carefully planned interaction. Wow, we've covered a lot about gerbils today. We hope you found this video informative and helpful. Remember, gerbils are wonderful pets that bring joy and companionship to our lives. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about pets, don't forget to check out the other videos on our YouTube channel. We have a wide range of content covering various types of pets, their care, and much more. Before you go, please hit that like button if you found this video useful. Your support helps us create more content like this. And if you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you won't miss any of our future videos. Thank you for watching.